Blessed Holy Week and Great Friday and Father John Hall, Rector of St. Raymond Maronite Cathedral in St. Louis, Missouri. I read from the Gospel according to St. Luke. When they came to the place that's called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leader scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly. For we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Jesus crucified at Golgotha with two criminals, one on his right and one on his left. They both rebuked him according to the Gospels of St. Matthew and St. Mark. However, the Gospel according to St. Luke narrates that one of the criminals said to Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. With this confession, the tradition gave this criminal the name of the right thief, good thief, penitent thief, grateful thief. Some of the tradition they have Jesus leaning his head on the cross to the right, and the footrest is slanted to the right too. This is, this is in the Byzantine tradition, to say that the right thief was saved. Even according to the tradition, we have a name for this right thief, Saint Dismas or Saint Dimas in Spanish. Two questions I would like to ask and have a reflection on these two questions. The first one is about the answer of Jesus. Today you will be with me in paradise. We know that Jesus did not go to paradise on that day after his saving death on the cross. The biblical and church teaching tells us that Jesus went to Sheol or Hades to take with him all the righteous and just that they were waiting for him to open the gates of heaven. To understand what Jesus meant by today, you will be with me in paradise. We have to see paradise not as a physical place. Let us see it as a saving place from all the sins. See it as a reconciliation and repentance of all the criminal activities and the forgiveness of God on all our wrongdoings. It is the place where God is, the peace that we all long for. The second question, is it okay to delay our repentance? To say the good thief at, at the last moment, before his death, ask forgiveness from the Lord. And Jesus Christ absolved him and placed him in paradise, the triumphant church of the saints. In fact, he was one of the first to be in paradise after Adam and Eve were out. There are two sins, sin of despair and sin of presumption. St. Thomas defines despair as essentially as a movement in the soul corresponding to a wrong or evil opinion about God, namely, that he will not forgive repentant sinners. Presumption is related to despair in that, as despair despises the divine mercy, so presumption 
despises the divine justice. Like despair, it is also a sin against the Holy Spirit. If we say that we will repent before we die, this is a sin of presumption. Taking advantage of the mercy and justice of God. We have to be ready. We do not know when we will be called home. And God, who is merciful in this life and just in the second, will judge us and assign us a place, hopefully one of his dwelling places. Let us pray. God, you created us in your image and likeness and sent your Son to save us. Give us, like Saint Dismas, the right good thief, to always ask for your mercy, ask you to save us from the suffering that we endure. Save us from our past life of wrongdoing. Save us from all sins that enslave us. We pray through the intercession of Saint Dismas for all the prisoners in the world, especially the ones sentenced to death penalty, that they will repent. For all the places that they are called after Saint Dismas, especially Saint Dimas in California, and for all of us who need to hear from Jesus Christ, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen.